you serious? I'll be right there. This is the one I've been waiting for. I know it. Alright, so I just got a call from my partners and they're at the Old Divide Gorge in the Great Rift Valley. And the Great Rift Valley is located in northern Tanzania. They came across something really cool and they want me to come check it out. So we'll be there in a minute. Okay, so I just arrived at the Old Divide Gorge. Usually we don't come out at night time, but this is a really big discovery and we need to check it out. There's my partners. What is it? Check this out! Alright, I'm coming. Hurry, mate. Oh my god. Based on the particular strata that this specimen's on, I'd estimate it to be about one and a half to two million years old. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it's a Homo habilis. The Homo habilis is the earliest to earn the title Homo. <laughs> They're nicknamed the handyman for their use of tools. The tools that this particular specimen would use were known as Oldowan tools. They were constructed from a large core, and then chips were taken away, producing flakes which were very sharp. This particular species was probably here about 2.4 to 1.5 million years ago, which is a very long time. So not a lot of people know this, but the Homo habilis didn't really use their tools for hunting. They mainly scavenged for animals that were already dead. Their diet mainly consisted of scavenged animals, fruits, plants, and also a little bit of meat, which is why they are called omnivores. They had thick tooth enamel that was worn down in their fossils, which proved that they chewed on hard objects. Come over so we can get a closer look. Now, judging by the cranium, I'd say this specimen has about a 600 cubic centimeter brain volume. You can also notice a distinct reduction in prognathism from more primitive Australopithecines. A major controversy surrounding the Homo habilis is that it shouldn't be grouped in its own species. Many feel that it should be grouped with either the Homo or the Australopithecines. I personally feel it deserves its own, simply from its usage of tools. This guy right here deserves his own name. Now that my team and I finally got the skull out of the ground, you can notice its characteristics. The foramen magnum is obviously located at the base of the skull, which is a key indication of bipedalism amongst these kind of individuals. In case you are doubting my credibility, my uncle is Louis Leakey, famous archaeologist and multiple fossil discoverer of the Homo habilis. He's number one. 